Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My last couple of videos were about scanning film with the DSLR and editing it. Today I'm going to show you the easiest way I've found to edit film with your phone. So we're just going to open up Kodak Mobile Film Scanner and as you can see we have three options, colour negative, colour positive and black and white negative. We're just going to choose colour negative because that's what I'm going. I've just got my video light here set up. Um, you can use any sort of light source, an iPad, another phone. Um, just line it up, get it to focus. Now this slider up the top, it adjusts the colour, so it allows you to adjust for the colour of your film base. It's too red. That there looks okay to me. Let's get it to focus. And let me snap a shot. And then in the photo editor you have all these options. You have options for filters, frames, rounded corners, exposure contrast. Um, there's a whole lot of different things. Stickers you can draw and write on the frames as well. I'm just going to go into exposure and bring my exposure down. Hit the green button. You can add and take away contrast. I'm just going to add a little contrast. Then I'm just going to flip this around. And we'll crop it four to three. But I'm just going to leave Leave it so we have our sprocket holes showing on this one. You can crop it right in if you want to. It's up to personal preference, really. And to go, okay, we can play with saturation if we wish. I'm not going to. Might sharpen this a little bit. And then when you're happy, you hit the tick button and it just saves it out. Or you can share it out to wherever you want. Um, send it to Snapseed for further editing if you wish. But that's it for me with this one. That's how easy it is to scan some film on your phone. Um, one thing I wish that app had was a way to ex control your exposure when you took the picture. It doesn't, it's just an auto thing. Um, if it gets a bit too bright, it's just a bit too bright. Um, but apart from that, it's just really, really easy to use. Uh, I'm, I normally use it just to have a quick look at my negatives after I've developed them. I wouldn't say it's good enough to use as your main method of scanning film, but in a pinch you can use it if you don't have a DSLR and a macro lens or a dedicated film scanner and you just want to see what shots look like. Anyway guys, that's it from me. Thanks for watching and I shall see you in the next one.